radiogenic evolution plots illustrate how the radiogenic composition of reservoirs evolve over time. Essentially, such an evolution plot is the same as a decay plot, only that the parent is not included here, but only the daughter isotope. So in this case, this is the decay system, 26 aluminum decays to magnesium 26 within about a little more than 700,000 years. See, so on the x-axis is the time in millions of years, and on the y-axis is the, uh, the daughter 26 magnesium relative to a um, normalization value. And I can change the, the time here with this slider and increase the time. And then I see how this reservoir evolves. Now this reservoir is the CI chondrites. And you can see how they increase over time in the radiogenic composition. Now I can add a couple of more reservoirs, these blue lines here. Now there are two lines above the CI line and two lines below. The two lines above initially had more aluminum than the CI, or more a higher aluminum magnesium ratio than the CI reservoir, and the two blue lines below had um, only very little aluminum, so a small aluminum magnesium ratio. So the two lines above could be CAI, so the mesostasis of chondroids. Two lines below could be something like pyroxene or olivine, which only have very little aluminum but a lot of magnesium. And so here, this illustrates how these various um, reservoirs evolve. So if it would be half a tungsten reservoir, then above here, so where a lot of radiogenic tungsten would be, this would be the mantle, and below here, this would be the core, where there's just little initial hafnium, so there's little radiogenic ingrowth of tungsten. The dashed line here is the isotron, because these are all the reservoirs of the various components at a certain time. So it's a vertical line here. And here you can see how these various reservoirs evolve. But then these reservoirs might not evolve um, at the very beginning, but they might separate into these different components or reservoirs later. And this can be shown here as well. So maybe the reservoirs um, form after um, roughly two millions of years. And it looks like this. The evolution of the various reservoirs, or the ingrowth of radiogenic 26 magnesium in this case, is much smaller as if the separation into the various reservoirs occurs earlier, which is clear because um, the amount of 26 aluminum decreases over time. And if there's less aluminum 26, then there's less radiogenic magnesium that can uh, be formed within this reservoir. Now the difference between the reservoirs here can then be used to calculate ages. And um, it's clear that if the, the differences here are larger, the ages of the objects that will be dated are also larger. And later, the difference are smaller, they are a little younger. So and this is how such radiogenic evolution plots can be used to illustrate how the various reservoirs evolve over time.